Wash for a shoe or something? <laughs> Your father let me win that one. Oh, I did not. <laughs> now we just about got the fence finished. You boys have done so much for me since I returned. Seems like I'm always saying thank you. Well, my pleasure. That is when we don't stop talking around here, we'll never get it done. Doing a good job, boys. They're wonderful, Ben. I wish I could repay you. Well, you could if you'd have dinner with us tonight. Oh, Ben. I... It's been a long time, Catherine. Too long. How can I say no? But I, I'll have to stop by my house and change first. Oh. Well, we'll take the buckboard back, then we'll have the boys bring the horses. <laughs> I'll be late for dinner, boys. Mrs. Saunders is joining us. Paul, oh, how many times do you ever remember us being late for dinner? Bring the other horses. I think you better get your blue suit out of mothballs and make sure it still fits. Why? Who died? Nobody. I don't ever wear that blue suit except the funerals and the weddings. Weddings. <laughs> you reckon? I wouldn't be a bit surprised. so serene. Makes me think how small we really are. Yeah, it even makes our troubles kind of small, too, doesn't it? I'm glad you came back, Catherine. I thought maybe if I opened up the ranch, Eden would come back. Uh, that's been over three years now, hasn't it? Since the trial. He shouldn't have run off like that. He was acquitted. Oh, by the jury. He never believed that anyone around here thought he was really innocent. Not even his father. Yet Charles drove himself into a little health over that trial. I know. But I still love my son. Want him back. Believe in him is... Is that so wrong, Ben? I think it's kind of hard to judge the right or wrong of love. Thank you, Ben. 
can't tell you what it means having you as a friend. Well, then why didn't you come to me sooner as a friend? I wanted to, Ben. You'll never know how much. After Charles died and Eden left, I... My whole world collapsed. And now? I don't know, Ben. Catherine, if, uh, if I can, if I can help in any way. Oh, then you have. You have. We, we'd better get going. Yeah. Yeah. Until this very moment. <laughs> Hop Singh, I want you to prepare a very special dinner for a very special guest. For Missy Kathleen, Hop Singh prepare dinner, make banquet look like picnic lunch. <laughs> <laughs> you see. <laughs> dependable old desk. I always loved this desk. Your house hasn't changed over the years, Ben. It's still beautiful. So much more beautiful. So much more alive with you here. This house just needs a woman's touch. Oh, Ben. This is probably the best-run household in all Nevada. You don't need a woman to help you. Mm, that's not true. You've done such a fine job of raising your sons. Oh, uh, They've missed not having a mother. Why haven't you married again, Ben? Well, uh, it was just now when I wanted to ask. What about you? Same reason, I guess. No, that isn't completely true. I've had Eden so completely on my mind, I, I haven't been able to think of anything else. And since I've come back, I... Oh, Ben... Why do people still say such horrible things about him? You know, people talk. He was acquitted of that killing. Why can't they leave him alone? They haven't even seen him in three years. Well, you know, people, people like to gossip. They, stories come stories back. Stories lie. You 
can't go on forever building your whole existence around Eden. He's, he's living his life, and you must live your life. I'm the only one that ever understood or protected him. Charles was always disappointed in him. Catherine, Charles is dead. Eden's gone. You're here. I'm here. You have your sons. I'm alone. You're alone because you want to be alone. You're living in the past. One of these days, my boys are going to be gone. They're going to be off on their own, building their own life, their own future. That doesn't mean my life is going to end. And I hope I won't be alone. Haven't the last few days meant anything to you? Then you don't know how much. For the first time in so long, I felt alive and happy. Laughing with you and the boys, I... I've been blind, haven't I? To you, to me. Ben, hold me. I don't want to be alone anymore. That's magnificent. Thank you, Missy Kathleen. Mm -hmm. If that ain't the dead murder thing I have seen, what's a man supposed to do with that, Hobbsing? Eat it or stick it in the fireplace? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to serve it. I'm sure, sure Adam isn't here yet. I thought he'd be back from town by now. Uh, maybe a little trouble with that load of timber. Oh, that looks good. Chinese brandy. Make angry man smile, happy man grin. I'm laughing all over, Hobbsing. Mm. That must be Adam. Catherine. Um, how good to see you. It's good to see you. I've forgotten how lovely you looked at our table. Sit down, sit down. Hopsy, get some food for Adam. Uh, never mind. I'm not hungry. I ate before I left town. Well, uh, at least have some wine. What kept you so late? Oh, there's some difficulty. We can talk about it later. Thank you. Well, he's to my favorite lady. Thank you, Adam. Well, we'll all drink to that. 
Now that we're all together, there's something that I... There's, a, there's something that uh, Catherine and I would like to tell you. Catherine and I have decided... what I tell you, Joe? What do you mean, what did you tell me? What did I tell you? Well, wait a minute, I haven't finished telling you anything yet. Oh, everybody in the county, besides my mule and the fence post, knew that you and Catherine was going to get married. And I'm going to be the first one to kiss the Congratulations. Well, congratulations, Mr. Conway. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My congratulations to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, can I, can I see you, man? Yeah, sure. <laughs> What is it? Eden's back. They say he killed a woman. They got a posse out looking for him now. He got back sometime yesterday, and they spent most of the day drinking in a silver dollar and telling a lot of people what he was going to do to Frank Miller for marrying his girl. You remember her? Linda Holmes? Oh, yes, yes. Frank wasn't around. He's been in San Francisco all week. Linda was home alone. Well, Miller's brother, Carl, found her body this morning. He's got the town all riled up, and they're out looking for blood. What's Sherry, Sheriff Coffey doing? He was out of town. I sent for him. I'm gonna have to tell Catherine. I know. I think we should be in that posse. taking far so long. I imagine it's a little difficult to tell the woman you love that her son is a murderer. Yeah, I guess so. Adam, you don't think he really did it, do you? If you believed everything's been said about him, he'd have been dead a long time ago. I don't know. Miller said he saw somebody riding off that looked like Eden. He took a shot at him. Ah, uh, Carl Miller, I wouldn't trust his word as far as I could fill one of these horses. I just wish Pa wouldn't take so long. I hate to think what had happened if that posse found him and we weren't there. Also, you wait for Pa. Joe and I are going to ride on ahead. Right. It isn't true. I know it isn't true. I don't care what they say about him. I know he didn't kill that girl. Catherine, it, it's just impossible to be that certain. Ben. Ben, you don't think I, I don't think anything. I, I just don't want you to be hurt. That posse finds him. What'll they do? Well, that... It's hard to say. Adam says that... There's some men in town who are pretty riled up. 
And he needs our help. Then we've got to find him. First, we've got to find him. Of course. I'm, I'm fine, Eden. I'm going with you. I'm going to stay here. It's not a woman's work. It's too dangerous. Then, when you find him, what will you do? I'll see to it that no harm comes to him. I can't promise any more. What do you think of that? Your wolf cub's lost his teeth. Well, uh, look at here. If it isn't big old Ben Cartwright himself. Oh, by the way, Ben, I found your boy's gun. He can't be too far. You know, I'm a little surprised to see you out here, Ben. I sort of figured you'd be busy holding the widow's hand. <laughs> but then I suppose she uh, figures her young wolf pup's innocent, huh? Too bad we know different, ain't it? We had enough troubles it is, Mother, without you stirring up any more. I didn't stir up any trouble. But I sure aim to see it's finished. You face a jury. Not a lynch mob. Yeah. Well, I figure it's all according to which one of us finds him first. All right, boys, spread out. He must be around here somewhere. Out of the boy. No, but Miller's right. He can't have gotten very far. He's on foot. On foot? Yeah, we found his horse a while back, pulled up lame. Well, I'd always keep an eye on Miller. He'll turn this into a lynching party if he can. Where are you going for? I'll go back to Ponderosa. Catherine was awfully upset at the news. I don't, don't want to leave her alone. Got right. They say you used to treat Eden like one of your own sons. So you know him pretty well. 
Um, this about the right neck size? Never safe. But you are. Ben will be here soon. He's out looking for you now. Yeah. Him and half the rest of the country. I guess I couldn't expect anything else. They never did give me a chance around here. Why should it be any different now? You don't understand. Ben's trying to help us. You can trust him. I can't trust anybody. Not even me, Eden. Oh, I didn't mean you. I trust you, Mom. And I trust Ben with all my heart. <laughs> oh, Ben. You all right, Catherine? Of course. Then we found him. My son is safe. It's been a long time, Mr. Cartwright. You don't need that gun. Get inside the house. Yes, you must be starved. I am. I haven't eaten in two days. I have to get you fed. Everything's going to be all right now, isn't it? Yeah, everything's everything's going to be fine. Saying Russell up some food. Well, ben, don't bother him. I'll fix it. I want to. Well, it might be a good idea. I'll have to stand guard outside. Let me look at you here in the light. 
You look so tired. Poor baby. Um, I'm a grown man. Of course you are. And a fine, handsome one. But a dirty one. Mom, you don't think that I... No, of course not. You go along now and get cleaned up. Well, I fix you something to eat. Oh, in there. Take that off. And from there, I went to Texas. Now, there's a rough country, Texas. You can ride all day and never reach a horizon. I mean, it's a big, wide-open country with dust and heat and snakes and tough men. It's a man's country. How long were you there? Oh, uh, about a year, I guess. I, I worked on a big cattle ranch, about twice the size of the Ponderosa. I mean, a really big ranch. Must have covered 100 miles. Maybe more. What did you, uh, did you do in this ranch? Oh, I, uh, I worked as a cowhand for a while. The owner, Mr. Williams, he, he wanted to make me foreman, but, uh, I had the old wonderlust. He begged me to stay, but, you know, I, I still have the prettiest mom in the whole world. Don't you think so, Mr. Cartwright? Yes. Do you want some more potatoes, son? No, I'm full up to here, but I would like some more coffee. I'll fix it for you. Eden. What happened at Lyndon Millis? Would you believe me? I want to help you. Why? Because of Mom? Yes, because of your mother, and because of you, if you're innocent. You think I'm not? I didn't say that. I don't know. You haven't told us anything. All I know is that you threatened Frank Miller. Oh, people are always making a big thing out of nothing. Sure, I was sore at Frank for marrying my girl. Who wouldn't be? And I was sore at her, too. I went over to her house to tell her what I thought of her. But when I got there, she was dead. Well, why did you run away when Carl Miller saw you? Why didn't you just stay and tell them the truth? Because they'd blame me. You know how it is. You get a little reputation, and pretty soon everything that happens, they blame on you. I've never believed anything they said. Not for a minute. Neither has Ben. In that case, how about you two figuring a way for me to get out of here? Just until all this thing is cleared up. That's just what we plan to do, isn't it, Ben? Mr. Cartwright. I hear horses. Many, many horses. Get outside and keep watch. Yes, Mr. Cartwright. You've got to give me a gun. You'll get your chance to have a gun. I've got a right to defend myself. Now Come on, be quiet. Let me get to the stable to saddle the horses. We'll have to go on foot. We'll go the back way. But I'm going to take him up to that place on the lake by the mill. As soon as you get a chance, bring us food and horses. Come on. Fresh horses in the corral if you need them. If you're saddled up, we'll move out. Hey, Cartwright. Where's your old man? Hunting for standards like the rest of us. If you want them, go find them. 
Well, what makes you so sure he's out hunting that killer? If you ask me, it's more than likely he's covering up the kid's tracks. Well, if you think he's hiding around here, go look for him. You Cartwrights are all alike. You Cartwrights are all in this together. Saunders was your friend. Your friend killed my brother's wife. You're not trying to catch him. You're out to help him escape. You're a liar. Am I? Where's your pa? Why ain't he here? Where's he been where we've been out busting our backs in the brush? I'll tell you what I think. I think he's got that dirty little killer head out somewhere. You keep your mouth Joe, shut. Joe, no, no. Joe. Yeah. Ask her. Go on. Ask her where your pa's got that boy hit out. Everybody knows he's sweet on her. You've got to lead that posse away from the lake. Well, that's where they are, huh? Yes. By the old mill. Where we had that picnic a long time ago, do you remember? Yes, I remember. What's Pa gonna do? I don't know. All I know is that they're afoot. And I've got to bring the horses as soon as I can. But you must give them time. Can you do that, Adam? I don't know, Catherine. Those men out there are in a mean mood. On a day and a night on a trail that's suddenly gone cold hasn't improved their disposition any. The men will listen to you, won't they? I hope so. You're sick. <laughs> well, did she tell you where she hid that murdering son of hers? All right, let's go. You're still telling us what to do, Cartwright. Well, they gotta stand around and listen to him shoot his mouth off, or we're gonna get this dirty work done so we can go home and get some sleep. Where are we going, Adam? Back to the river. Now, wait a minute. We're moving up to the lake. I think we'll have a better chance of picking his tracks up back at the river. We covered every inch of it. Look, that's where his horse went lame, that's where we found his gun. Now, we've had men in that area all day. He couldn't have gotten out of there without us seeing him. He's got to be hiding out in the bushes somewhere. He couldn't have got through us. Who do you think is the boss of this posse? I am, Mr. Miller. Now, just what do you men think you're doing taking the law into your own hands, running around like a, like a lynch mob? We've been looking for that woman killer. That's right, Sheriff. What have you been doing? I've been doing my job. And I've been doing it proper. I've been making up a warrant, looking up witnesses. That's how coming to find out what you was up to, Mr. Miller. Well, we're not going to wait around for that legal stuff. Now, that's just what you are going to do, or wait in a jail cell one. From now on, this is a legally constituted posse. You understand? What's well, the difference just so we get that killer? Look, Sheriff, I've got a plan. Yeah, I know. I heard it. And I heard Adams, too. We're going to have another look along that river. Then we'll go up the lake if needs be. Now, if you want to join this posse, you just go over there and get up on your horse.
she's not coming. Did you hear me? I said she's not coming. She'll come. But suppose something happened. We haven't got a chance on foot. That's right. We haven't. So, worrying isn't going to help any, is it? I'm sorry, Mr. Carwright. I, I guess I'm just a little nervous. I never did like running very much. Mr. Carwright? Do you remember when we were little kids, Joe and me? And you used to bring us up here hunting? And sometimes at night, we'd sit around and talk things over? Yeah, I remember. I could always talk to you, even when I couldn't talk to my pa. I guess he figured I was no good. Am I as bad as he figured? I don't... I don't believe you. your pa figured you for being bad. It's just that he... found it hard to understand you. Understand me? I never could do anything right for him, not once. Sure, I made mistakes, but what kid doesn't? The only one who cared... I mean, who really cared was mom. Why didn't he ever give me a chance, Mr. Cartwright? Well, I... I think he gave you a chance. I think he gave you every chance that a father can give a son. Until your credit ran out. You mean that shooting? It was self-defense. I was acquitted. It was him that taught me. A man has a right to defend himself. So what's so different about me? Look, how do you know it wasn't Carl Miller killed Linda? He wanted to marry her, too, even before his brother did. Why is everybody so sure I did it? It's going to be up to a judge and a jury to decide who did it. I loved her. All my life, I loved that girl. Do you think I could kill someone I loved? Eden. Do you know what... what love really means. I have trouble getting through. And men everywhere, even around my then house. Then we're trapped. No, the east road is clear. Adams kept the posse down by the river. They won't be here for a while yet. We better start out right now. Wait a minute. There's no use you getting further involved, Mr. Carwright. I'll make it alone. And having Ma along would just slow me down. Let me have a gun. And I'll be on my way. I'm taking you to Fort Churchill. Fort Churchill? What, what for? You'll be safe there, Catherine, until we can arrange a trial in Virginia City. Now get on your horse, boy. A trial? What kind of a trial would I get there as soon hang me as look at me? You know that. 
Give me a chance, Mr. Cartwright. I'm giving you a chance, Eden. The only chance I can give you. Then we know he's innocent. And I'll have a chance to prove it. I'll never see a courtroom. They'll tear down the jail to get at me. You saw them. They won't tear down an army stockade. You'll be safe there. Now get on your horse. Both of you. With luck, we'll be able to make Fort Churchill by daybreak. Mom. Mom, talk some sense into him. He's as good as put a rope around my neck. No, he's right. Don't you see, Eden? After the trial, when your name is clear, we'll be able to start a new life. No more running away. All right. But I still think I won't have a chance at any trial. Let's get moving. <laughs> Let's ride out of here, Carl. We're wasting our time. No. It's not wasted yet. I still don't see why we had to leave the posse. Supposing they find that kid down by the river like Cartwright figured. <laughs> you mean you swallowed all that? Sure. Hey, you're even dumber than I thought you were. What are you calling dumb? No. You? Look there. Get down off your horses. Move. Throw your gun away, Ben. You ride back down the trail and fetch the posse. Try me now, Ben. You killed her. Why don't you admit it? It was him that done it. I knew it. Shut up, you dirty little killer. Shut up. You loved her. 
You loved your brother's wife. Shut up, I said! <laughs> do that, Ma. Come on. Mr. Cartwright double-crossed us. I told you we couldn't trust him. I had to have a gun. You know that. Hmm? I mean, when I have a gun, people sit up and, and take notice. See? When I have a gun in my hand, why, they all give me a chance because they're scared. Now, come on, hon. Give it here. You just don't look right with that thing in your hands. Stay back. Now, you know you wouldn't use that on me, Mom. I'm your son. Remember? Listen. Got a plan. That posse would never shoot me if you were loved. They just wouldn't dare. Now, what's the matter? It's all any of us ever meant to you, isn't it? Just someone you could use. Oh, you're wrong, Mom. I love you. You don't know the meaning of the word. You never have, and you never will. You'll have to use that gun on me, Eden. You think I won't? Oh, it's true. You did kill that poor girl. <laughs> Care of that arm, Ben. I wish you weren't going so soon. You've done so much, been so kind. Ben. I understand that. Couldn't work out for us now. I loved him, 
no matter what he did. I know. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Dan. 